<laughs> Hundreds of Kenyans thronged the bombers of Kenya during the launch of the Building Bridges Initiative, a journey that leaders say seeks to rectify Kenyans' recurrent political conflicts that have been occurring every election time. We will eventually end up with a referendum. A momentous occasion that sets the journey to a constitutional amendment that constitutional pundits say may or may not lead to a referendum process. If it has protected provisions, even if it goes through parliament, parliament can con conclude that process until we have a referendum. If it goes through the popular initiative, all they need to do is collect a million signatures, uh, take the bill and it is passed by 50% uh, of the county assemblies, and then it is passed by parliament. By a, by a simple um, uh, majority. At the core of all this process is an independent body mandated by the constitution in overseeing the process in the event that the changes goes through a referendum process. Two years ago, the besieged commission reeling from the nullification of the 2017 election was dealt a blow when its commissioners resigned, leaving only three in office. Compounding to this, its former CEO, Ezra Chiloba, was forced to vacate office after he was fired. These experts say raises a political rather than a legal concern. There are protections in the law that enable the IBC to still continue to function as long as it's got more than three commissioners. Don't forget that IBC has already carried out several by-elections and those by-elections have not been challenged on the basis that the IBC is, is not fully constituted. I think that the only problem is that in terms of credibility, uh, especially when you're going towards a general election, when you're going towards um, uh, you know, very significant uh, political processes, it's very, very important that there's trust in, 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 in the arbiters. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission woos are exacerbated by the just-released Building Bridges Initiative report, which proposes that a new chairperson, new commissioners and freshly vetted secretariat be undertaken ahead of the 2022 general election before a judge of the Supreme Court. A move that did not sit down well with the IEBC chairman Wafula Chabukati, who termed the move as a sustained attack on the country's independent institution. The report further says that the membership shall consist of two members nominated by political parties, one from the majority party and one from the minority party represented in the National Assembly and two members nominated by a joint forum with representations from religious organizations. The recommendations rubbing politicians the wrong way. How fair will be a league where the referee is appointed by teams? And not all the teams, some teams. How, how fair will this league be? If that if, if you persuade me that you will, have, you will end up with a fair game, fine. I think one of the areas, by the way, where they may, they may demand a referendum is the restructuring of the IBC uh, because it's changing the structure um, of the IBC and that may question whether it's losing its independence, which is one of the, which is one of the uh, areas that the constitution has protected. With the referendum in play, the 2022 elections knocking in and politicians tiptoeing at the doors of the commission, eyes will be fixated on the country's electoral body to see how it navigates through the muddy road ahead. Martin Opio, K24 TV.